like popular girl that every that does everything. She doesn't look human. None of them do. They're, that's why. That's, that's the trick. I don't know if I could do a good enough robot voice. So. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Just... I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. <laughs> Lord, she's incredible. <laughs> we might not have enough time if we wait too long. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Yuri exhales. <laughs> uh, spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? Is it okay with you? <laughs> Don't cry. Don't touch me. <laughs> You're all kind of down when in the dumps. <laughs> I'm sorry if you've been looking forward to this. I don't give a shit about your dumbass pictures. Oh, oh it's God. not. It's fine. <laughs> he really releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. All right. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I read it with you? <coughs> um, I, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? Who are you guys going after? You guys could read. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Tegan Yuri is bae. Alright. Stand up. Make what a mental say? note of where I left off in the book, and then slip it back into my bag. I, I disagree. Alright, oh, let's go over we shall first. Uh, let's do Yuri. Yuri. <laughs> Let's see what you've written for today. <laughs> All of a sudden, she's a man. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> he stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do, surprised? Do you, do you like it? Eric, oh. how do you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. What does Moody do? Maybe that's why. <laughs> did a good job explaining. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to try giving more imagery. Yuri invisibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Oh god. I'm not used to this. Ah! Used to what? I don't know. Sexy. It's fine. Take your time. <laughs> Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offered that patience to her. Just yeah. being appreciated like this, I guess. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> it probably sounds really stupid. But seeing someone motivated by my writing just makes me really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Three nods. Really? I don't believe it. I only write for myself. <laughs> and besides, <laughs> people will just laugh at me. Do you, do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. <coughs> oh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. Wonder why. Anyway, do you want me. to share the poem you wrote today? No. Yeah? <laughs> no. I do. <laughs> if it's with you. Ooh, we're making progress, boys. The raccoon. It happened in the dead, in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttling of a raccoon outside my window. It was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies in a, as an unordinary human. Is that what that says? Oh, I can't read a writing. Unordinary human. I think so. Yeah. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that the raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. Bread, my hungry, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon. I rage. Oop, there's more. Rhyme. I know, right? It's not even full. Oh, the, the raccoon and urge. I hate this cursive writing. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of, of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon <laughs> becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions on the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently. My bread is always handy. 
Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. A rush of blood. That's like a pollute. Pav 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 Pavilonian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Are we eating the raccoon? <laughs> if you have the option. Uh, that's that's, that's potential. Because that was fucking terrible. Um, What'd you say, Tegan? That poem was garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the imagery in that one, Yuri? Yeah, God. Uh, did you, did you read your line? She definitely just wrote a shit poem to see if you'll be honest with me. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to fool you. I was a little more daring with the, this one than yesterday's. <laughs> I can see that. It's a lot more <laughs> metaphorical. I don't know it was my fault, but I can begin to imagine what this poem is about. Her for you the damn raccoon. Or her <laughs> urge to kill people. Or both. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid, vivid imagery and conveying emotion through them. And slicing it. Poor raccoon. Uh, <laughs> I take it at face value that I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. Psychopaths. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more, <laughs> my more unusual hobbies. Unusual hobbies. <laughs> It's those sort of things that I'm usually forced to keep myself. As you probably should. <laughs> so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. How do you keep them to yourself? No, she's ours. But yes. Because they're, they're embarrassing. People would make fun of me. Yeah, you're right. They would. Don't you have anything like that, Eric? Well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. I saw that big word. It's Even big if word. it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us more comfortable. <laughs> After all, I had to learn to embrace my own weirdness. I would probably hate myself. Oh, God. I, I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad you're a good listener. Oh, Jesus. All right, who are we going with? Monica. 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 Yeah. You take those. Hi again, Tom. Oh, you say Eric. You say Eric. How is the writing going? Uh, alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. Oh. I'm oh. happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe someday you'll be good at something. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. <laughs> you never know. You want to share? You wrote for today? Uh, sure, here, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Ah, uh, yes. All right. Great job, Tom. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. I yeah. promise you. <laughs> it's really metaphorical. <laughs> I promise you. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. <laughs> I guess I underestimated well, I'd really you love to read course. ours. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low, you know? From garbage that way it always <laughs> counts when i put in some effort <laughs> uh, that's not very fair well i guess it worked you know what yuri likes this kind of writing right writing that's full of imagery and symbolism yeah she does <laughs> unlike sayuri who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning at what about integrate it's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked them. You I'm sure I'm nowhere near at her it's, level. It's me to you. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Ah, yes. Don't worry so much about it. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new But anyway, you want to read my poem now? No. I like the way this one turned out. I hope you do too. All right, let's take All a look. Right. Let's not read Save me. The colors, <coughs> they won't stop. Bright, yes. beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless camp, or a cacophony of meaningless cacophony. noise. Noise that won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, 
like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. And then this poem of meaningless showed me. What? What? <laughs> she is a robot. <laughs> Look, all the way down at the bottom says load me. I uh, fucking called it. She's a robot. Uh, dude, what the hell? Um, it's Look even more Peter abstract was. than your last one, huh? Uh, shut up. I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but you're just stupid to understand. No, I, I never said that. <gasps> it's just kind of thing I never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with the space on my paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of a poem. It's almost like magic. Load me. The way, I wrote, the way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. Still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> She's <laughs> crazy. asking what a poem about is a great question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Oh, right. Oh god, this Here's girl Monica's doesn't stop talking. <laughs> Sometimes you'll find yourself... When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Oh god! <laughs> thanks, robot. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mang. Breaking yeah, the fourth wall there. you change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Thank you. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Wait, is this- what the fuck? Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening, Eric. <laughs> uh, she's so creepy. Do say it, Harry. All you tease. Okay, I don't have the energy to do a special voice. Ooh, I like this one, Tom. It has some nice feelings in it. Ah, oh, I'm glad. Still though, your tone makes it sound like you like yesterday's poem better. I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> well, don't just try to be nice about it. If I'm doing a bad job, then I'd rather just hear it. Why is it different? Well, I'm not very good at figuring out good or bad. Oh, uh, is it different? Yep. Yeah. Just continue. Uh, uh, you know I wouldn't lie to you, the same coo- or Eric? Never ever. Yeah, I, I guess so. <coughs> what made yesterday's poem so great compared to this one then? Next, yeah, um, need a voice. Um, well, I'm not very good at figuring out poems are good or bad. That's why I just <laughs> go by my heart. What makes me is... feel things, then it must be a good poem. This is... I'm sure that's exactly how it works. And again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah. Okay. Me neither. Oh, you're, you're back. You're caught up. Yeah. Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Why don't you cut yourself, you stupid bitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, it might end up getting you hurt or at some point. Oh. Eh? Nani? I don't really know what you mean, but sure. But sure. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Oh. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems. Oh. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? Happy Bi sad. Bipolar. What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a word. <laughs> I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and happy sad. Happy and sad? Shappy. <laughs> Shappy. Can't see you liking something sad, Siori. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. Aww, That's cool. so sweet. <laughs> You'd make a nice happy rain cloud. <laughs> Siori, that's unexpectedly poetic. No, it's not. Eh, it is. Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Tom. Eric. <laughs> I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Dang. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a coke jar. Or a cookie jar, excuse me. The secret place where I keep all my dreams. 
Little balls of sunshine, all rubbed it together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. Warm She's and robotic. tingly. But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. Right. I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in a bottle all in a row. My collection makes lots of friends. Each bottle is, sh is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secret hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. Our friends look through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up and come my friends. They come in in such a hurry. They want my bottles that much? I frankly pull them from the shelf one after the other. Hold them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. Every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling, or all shouting, pleading, something. All I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Yes. Uh, Spock, thank you for following. Spock? Is that John? Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> John? Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. Of course she did. About these human emotions. <laughs> I've been really in touch with my feelings. I, I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being cheerful, you know? Well, never mind. I think I'm too hard about it. Point is, I, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, oh, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It helps me understand my own human feelings a little better. <laughs> <laughs> Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty pr passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing's the best. <laughs> I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> oh, 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 God. <laughs> just, just don't get ahead of yourself. Sorry, I always had a habit of getting obsessed with something or dropping in <coughs> more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pe uh, pessimistic. Uh, Alright. Masuki. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, but Eric, I want to pick the other one. Oh, oh wait, I'm sorry. You should, we, we, we can go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's this one. <clears throat> I liked your last one better. Oh, really? Well, yeah. I can tell you're a little more daring than this one. Like, you're really not good enough for that yet. It fell flat. <laughs> wow. Uh, that may be true, but I just wanted to try something different. I'm still figuring Brian's this all out. I mean, I always like poems that aren't trying too hard. I hate when people try to sound fancy or add more meaning by just using annoying and complicated language. <laughs> just make it simple, cute, and to the point. Puppies. Yuri's head over heel for the, all this cryptic nonsense, but I see right through that BS. <laughs> Making your reader look so hard for all this deep meaning is just an excuse to have no meaning at all. <gasps> I guess that's one way to look at it. Well, everyone has their own opinion, but my opinion is the best opinion. <laughs> I'm sure you figured that out already. Yeah, sure. Anyways, here's my poem. Maybe I'll learn something. Maybe. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. But I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute <laughs> singing like voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. But I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. 
It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. She sounds like a judgmental hoe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a... Bad, was right? very aggressive. Hey, one sec. God, Eric. This is why you have no friends. <laughs> I'm back. I'm Eric Biden's back. That's... Yeah, what a fucking loser. Oh, wow. Oh, well, yeah. that, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eric, I didn't know you were back. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. <laughs> yesterday's was way too short. Uh, okay. I was just warming up. Fucking spider hugger. <laughs> fucking spider hugger. I hope you hugger. don't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> the message pretty straightforward in the yeah, Amy's Amy's I a spider hugger. Doubt. I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with just much simpler analogies. And like it helps people realize how stupid they're being. <laughs> yeah. Like anyone that would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Fucking spider. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out they make fun of you or think less of you. That's deeper than she expected. What's your freak hobby, Tom? Um, gen genital mutilation. That <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> Who cares what someone else likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone, it can, and it makes them happy. Really? Because you just wrote about judging a spider. <laughs> <laughs> I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Huh, that's funny. Yuri wrote about something similar today. Huh? Did you just say Yuri? Oh, of course not. Uh, yeah. She said her... Uh, she said her poem was about an unusual hobby of hers. I don't really get it, but she said something similar to you. That people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things. Really? Well... I mean, Yuri's pretty weird, so I wouldn't doubt that he has some kind of... Immediately judgmental. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, <laughs> it's not like I would judge her or anything, Baka. <laughs> Natsuki has <laughs> trouble finding words. I... I guess I should try not to be so mean to her. If she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure. And Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. But the way you put it, it sounds like she learned her lesson. Got him. Well, I would say so. Even if her writing style is really different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in your... It's what I do best, after all. Like, I'm awesome. I don't like <laughs> writing unless there's a good message to take away. Like, conveying emotions is important. But I want people to think, not just feel. Remember that. Think about real. <laughs> I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow, too. So, look forward to it. God, okay, I everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone gather and sit at the front of the room. It's about the festival? Kind of. Ugh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Shut up! Oh. Are you the president? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> we won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayuri has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. That doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Fuck. Her Jesus. Uh, uh, Monica. Yeah, we're gonna be having a poetry performance. 
Each of us is going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else recite poems too. The fuck great poems the three times. <laughs> so I was putting on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. I hope we see it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Are you kidding me, Monica? <laughs> you didn't. You didn't just already start putting those posters up, did you? Oh, <coughs> uh, well, yeah, I did. Did you really think that's such that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. Good, because I'm the president and I say what's going But on. I don't <laughs> sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing for repeat. I, I agree with Matsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys, no, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems. It's a lot to ask them to recite their poems out loud to I mean, everybody. Probably. <laughs> I, guess I, I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. I'm canceling the whole thing. But <laughs> I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is about. Woo! <laughs> yeah. It's about expressing your feelings. Express them. Your human feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Finding new horizons. Oh, what? You're having fun. That's right. <laughs> so it's recently that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? <coughs> I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting the then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Larry looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask, bitches. I think Sierra and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, okay, fine. We also just have to get over. Yeah! <laughs> Phew. <laughs> Thanks, pink-haired girl. <laughs> what about you, black-haired girl? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. <sighs> I I guess I don't really have a choice. Ah, that's everyone, you fucking... You're the best, Yuri. The club is seriously gonna be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway... Let's move on to the main event. Uh -oh. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N n no way! Monica, that's too sudden! Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it? Oh, no. Don't worry, even though your eyes are missing. <laughs> It'll start off to help everyone feel. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Monica, Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fall. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is it simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sarah looks amazed. She has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. Four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. 
That was so good, Monika. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping this had a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Wow. Yuri's wow. fired up all of a sudden? Wow. Yuri clutches wow. a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called. Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called After Image of a Crimson Sky. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. <laughs> Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into the books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in a structure that is... I'm sorry, I... I'm dying here. In turns <laughs> in a structure that she unicates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire of Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her gravity. as if she's bewildered even herself. The ghost gravity. Uh, oh, gravity. <laughs> it's up, that's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first one to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was okay. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Yuri Sorry. hops up into the chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Sorry. It's a lot harder than I thought. That's okay. what she. How do you guys do it so easily? Uh, Here's a practice. Try not to think of like you're you're doing something. <laughs> Imagine you're reciting to yourself in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out best that way. I see. I see. Okay then. Sarah begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem is an aimlessly cheery luxurious serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it, but hearing it come from Sayori's voice somehow gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! <laughs> Good job, Sayori. Hooray! Now he's simple. <laughs> uh, even Tom, like, Eric, like, <laughs> I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely once your face. <laughs> the atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. <laughs> but it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of... Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery as well. They might need a little more force behind it, depending on what you're reading. Hi, Hitler. Oh, I know what she means. <laughs> oh, Tom. <laughs> That's well. I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time I'm going to make a, pick up a poem that challenges you a little bit. Oh, brains. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki. <laughs> don't make me go before Eric. It's not like I can compare it to you guys anyway. <laughs> Might as well have Eric lower his <coughs> expectations a little before I have to do wow. it. Wow. Just like always. It's and aggro as hell. I'm glad you have an accurate view. <laughs> it's, it's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote before today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. That They're my height. They are. So I'm not exactly confident in my own writing. It's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. We know. 
<laughs> I think it's less about your abilities, more about god awful writing. <laughs> That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, pink haired girl. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki <clears throat> begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is called. It's called. Why are you all looking at me? Because. <laughs> because you're presenting. <laughs> I'm paying attention. Anyway, <laughs> this poem is called Jump! Natsuki takes a breath. While she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little un unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style. It works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. Words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. Off spec receipt. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. But it not make me do that again. Ah, well, you're going to. <laughs> do you feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can... I can put on whatever face I want for other people. Yeah, they cut someone else's face just off. my friends. Oh my god, you're not my friend. It's just <laughs> embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around. For me. Well, that's just how it is. So... Well, I guess in that case... You won't have too much wor wor to worry about too much for the best. I'll just uh, shut up. <laughs> that said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick up the poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. Probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort. It makes me really happy. That's uh, yeah, no problem. Mission, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. I think it's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's all try to write for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue with it. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll prepare. Monday is the big day. I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. All right. Stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sierra and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. Just for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sierra? Yep. Look at you two. Always going home together like that. Mm. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. That makes such a big deal out of it, okay? It must be a little nice, though. Take her home. Well, oh, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Tom. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Look, already. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Robot. Hey, Sayori. Hmm? Sorry, I was spacing out. Uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to, I mean... Harry fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day Yuri asked... Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? Kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> Answer the well, question. Oh. Eric? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I would As, say walk home with Sayuri. Yeah, but see, all. we've been trying, we've been going for Yuri. I made a wrong choice. I wonder. <laughs> I would go to the Yuri too. But in, in real life, 100% Yuri would be like, or, um, Yuri would be like, oh, stop. <laughs> what are we doing? It's up to you, I guess. If you're like the host. I don't want to hurt her feelings, you know? 
Yeah, but would you, but Eric, what would you do? Ask you. I, I mean, would tell her she... I would walk home with Sayuri. Even if, like, I knew I actually would. But how do you know that she's not the friend that's like, oh, I'm gonna tell Sayori what he says after. Yeah, know, exactly. I would, I would go with the second option. Eric, I have an idea. What's that? Flip a coin, heads or tails. No, Lamb Chop is screaming in chat, Yuri. I'm, I'm inclined Who's to agree. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck yeah, Lamb Chop. <laughs> Lamb Chop is the Lamb answer. Chop. We're going with Yuri, guys. We good? Walking home with Yuri. It's not me. I'm, I'm going to do Yuri. Oh, it's already too late. We already picked it. Wait, you picked Sayori? No, Yuri. Oh, Yuri. Okay, yeah. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, <laughs> given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful tearing her down, so. Wow, that was a lot smoother than I thought. <laughs> yeah, right? No kidding. Hold that in his butt. She's so beautiful and smart. I told you guys. That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it. Ah, so she doesn't feel bad, hurt. Jesus. Not even any point in speculating something that's never gonna happen. God, Sayori. Well, maybe. I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore. Oh. <laughs> wow, oh. need you? Sayori, can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Oh. That's so smooth. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like <laughs> yeah, fuck you, fuck you. Like I was Thanks expecting him to wild. be like, no, nah, fuck you. I like Yuri better. Get away from me. <laughs> this conversation trails off, and I'm left feeling awkward. It's so kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. If there's something that makes her happy. I would hate to take it away from her. Why well, I said there's no point <laughs> in speculating. And again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? We should have picked Sayori. Oh god, I feel oh, it's bad. It's poem now. time. Alright, we gotta do a poem that fits Yuri. Wait, can we just all take turns picking words? No, no we, we don't have the same words. I don't have the same words as you. So you have to pick ones that match Yuri. So we try to get the same. Uh, um, Electricity. Crimson. Uh, or disaster. Desire. Anxiety. Um. Hopeless. Disorienting. Agonizing. Doki doki. Flee. <laughs> doki doki. Uh, uh, graveyard. Crimson. Uh, fickle. Wrath. Entropy. Empty. Oh. Alone. <coughs> oh, what? Um, <laughs> oh, God. I had that. Um, waterfall. Oh, God. Suicide. Um, Grief. Wow, she's what actually like dark. Frightening. Oh god. Sticky. <laughs> Disorient. Analysis. Alright, got this. But I want melancholy. Agonizing. What the fuck? Yeah. Fuck Sire, the bitch. Uh, despise. Empty. And Good let's journey. not forget intellectual. Yeah. Oh Fish man. In. I'm the last one here again. Slow go. Oh. Vivacious. Wow, Eric's um, slow. This motherfucker oh, no. still doing it. Oh. Yo, Sayori likes a lot of like really dark things. Yeah. <laughs> Double. <laughs> All right, I think I think I did mostly. Yuri. Wow. Spook. Ah. Uh. Scary skeletons. Hey, here's Monica. Down. Scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Spooky, scary, spooky, scary. Oh man. I'm the last one again. I'm the last one in again. <laughs> Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing the piano again? Yeah. Liar. I hear you humans <laughs> like the piano. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination. Robotness. But I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it weren't for And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Uh, <clears throat> I can't wait. I'm gonna, it's gonna be great. 
<laughs> Nani? <laughs> Nani? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Desu? <laughs> well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and, like, eat all kinds of delicious food. <laughs> it sounded a bit like Siri all of a sudden. Marka, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. No, come on. Are you saying that you don't like squid? You? Of all people? She likes tentacles. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I didn't say I don't like it, it's just I don't understand what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what, is what do you mean by you, people? Because... It's right in your name. Mon... Ika. Got him. Eh? Nani? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Game is played in. Nani? Nani? Ah, oh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now. <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as your. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Sayori. I have my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah, so I am. I'm sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much. Nice. Are we getting towards the horror? Fine, see. Sorry, it shows me a big smile. I, I'm going to go ahead and guess the horrors. I did. Oh. I hope so. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Oh, like like all right, if you say so. I worriedly glance at Sarah before turning my back towards everyone else. But the conversations already disappeared with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sarah recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, it must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approached Monica, who was shuffling through some papers at her desk. Eric, what the fuck is it? Hey, it might sound a little strange, but is anything up with Sarah recently? Anything up with her? She's been down. In what way do you mean up? Maybe I'm I reading a little too much, questions. but it seems a bit downcast today. She seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Oh. Hey, Mikkel. Monica peers across the room at Siori, who idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you to. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she's really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask you if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. Let's make fun of her. <laughs> I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my... Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Yeah? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up. Ooh. Person of interest. What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind... Oh, oh baby. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well... You're I probably hot. shouldn't say too much, but I saw her masturbating violently. To oh, 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 wow. <laughs> eh, Nani? <laughs> She's been so much happier ever since you joined the. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. Oh. Nani? I feel bad now. <laughs> no, I don't. Siri is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now that. Than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as cheerful? 
because it's just how she is when she's around you. Oh, uh, I feel so bad now. Yeah, me too. Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? Oh. I didn't mean to jump to conclusions. You should just forget about what I said. No, I can't. I'll try to talk. <laughs> right. so try not to think about it. Now. Uh, all right. Monica smiles meaningfully. <laughs> no, she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. She's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear from her. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and have fun with everyone else. That's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm more behave, be, or behaving out of the order. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. She looks away just as quickly with a flushed look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So, I have no choice but to approach her myself. And now it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit on the one next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Lax didn't even do anything. But, didn't you? I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? I am a mind reader. <laughs> it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your own your posture and expression. N not that I was staring or anything. Fuck. I, I didn't Fuck. do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you are right. Sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are the only concern of those who are willing in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the love keeping to themselves. But if you prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Hello? Oh, it's really not that big of a deal. <laughs> Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Nani? Nani. S sorry, I didn't mean to say something stupid. <laughs> Not that, I just don't want you to misunderstand. Sarah and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Eric. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep in the And there are many untold myths. No matter how well you may know them. Huh. So you think that there might be something behind it after all? Mm -hmm. I think that Sayori <coughs> is a very calm. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always matter. You gotta speak up a little bit, Tom. You keep cutting out. And she may not always know what she They could throw it here. <coughs> I know <laughs> <laughs> And I get feels concerned for her. But in your case, it looks like she was fully occupied and <laughs> so It's like she's an old smoker now. <laughs> well, I guess that was the case. Sayori. She really means a lot to you. Doesn't she? <laughs> I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. She's good friends, that's all. Very suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Eris, I avert my gaze. <coughs> Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold, even to themselves. <laughs> and you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't always you weren't aware. Of. But th that is, I I think that. 
she's 14 and thinks that's deep. She would be <laughs> very much interested to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, giving me too much credit. Pretty simple guy. <laughs> but I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. Not nearly as sophisticated as you. Ah, uh, uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is, babe. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Prepared, uh, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Next thing we know, Siri runs out of the room. Yes, let's. How much you want to bet her next poem's just going to be terrifying? <laughs> no, I'm Next. sure it is. I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. If there's something that can make my reading any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Here stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. She spilled water all Yuri over hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this at another teacher's desk, and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movement. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Yuri appeals elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then, scrub? Yeah. Cut me, I'll fucking destroy you. <laughs> Where are you two going off? Nani? We're just. You're always gonna make some tea, so. I suddenly realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Yeah, I bet you were. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? I wanted to make it a locker room. That's... Pod. Monica, Agro. please mind your own goddamn business for once. <laughs> or do you want me to tell... Or do you want to tell me that there's something wrong with helping involve Eric in the club activities? Oh, she's... Nani? Whoa. My mouth gapes. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that, you stop. <laughs> well, let's go then, Eric. <laughs> She's so violent. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. So commanding, I Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri? I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so... Irritated. What is wrong with me? Oh, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Eric, how come even when I do something bad, you're always being nice to me? Because nothing that you do as bad as make you see them in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions and we can always hide from them. But you always amplify things in your head. Mine turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Uh, no, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something terrible as that? Nope. Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? F -f friend you say? What is this human? Uh, Yuri lifts her head. Eric? <coughs> I really like people! <laughs> Yuri, I like being friends with you too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. So Yuri's crying. <laughs> Eric, do you like... Oolong tea? I forgot those are. Uh, yeah. Everything's fine. Very well. <laughs> Here he says the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. That's way too much. That's like burning in Celsius. Now it's time to get the teapot. How do you know it's not Fahrenheit? Well, they didn't Fahrenheit. specify. 
You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do anything any less when I'm making tea for. Wouldn't water just like flash? You would have not an expert on tea or anything. Yes. I mean, it has to get to that temperature first. Uh. Hoo hoo. In that case, you'll only be only more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. She must be in a good mood now. <laughs> Is that so? I was letting it show. You noticed. <laughs> I was you doing a bit me. of thinking, and I decided I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Turns out, it's not very hard for me to do. When it's around, when it's you who's around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Eric. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. Why should I pour a cup of tea to each of us? Eric, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Yeah, honey? How's that? It's a bit easier on my back. I can read my back against the wall, or I'm bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. There's a sex joke somewhere. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> I just have my back fairly, I have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to. That's so? out. Because really wonder why that is. This <laughs> 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 one. Uh, big five. Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that would read. <laughs> yes. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. I have small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Materia's candy radar. I take it since it'll go, that it'll go with my tea. You and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position that last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Oh, no. Not it slides me. closer until our shoulders are touching. Am I supposed to focus on reading like this? She's always kind of cute, but she's being less apprehensive is almost more than I can handle. Oh god. <laughs> Your teacup. Here he hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a vision that makes it even harder to focus. <laughs> Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. <laughs> Jesus. She wears her intense reading expression that I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. Put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. <coughs> ah, sorry. I really let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah. That's... that's okay. I won't take any. Eh? Nani? You sure? Nani? Well... If I touch it, then it might get smudges on the paper. Ah, right. I didn't even think about that. Not bad. Don't need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? You sure? Of course. Feed her chocolate. Here opens the book with both hands. She holds it so I don't have any harder time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate. I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Any? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to, com to confirm what just happened. Um... Baka... Eric... Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's... Well, you were just helping. That's something that friends do. <gasps> right? It is what friends do, yes. I mean... Not really in this kind of context, but yeah, that's all it was. Oh, yeah, 
then you don't need to stop or anything. Oh, <laughs> I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return the book, but I can't. But I can tell just by her expression that she can't focus now. Heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. This time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. How could even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. There's her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of the breasts. I raise my hand. <laughs> <laughs> like before, Yuri uh, parts her lips, <laughs> but it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. <gasps> okay, everyone. <laughs> Oof, a straight cock block. Wah. Uh, <laughs> Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. Tom, you can help Yuri put away. Because yeah. apparently you need two people for that job. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll, I'll take care of the cups. <laughs> yeah, Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without as much as a word between us. I get the oh, feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Ultimate cockpit. Who should I share my poem with first? Uh, let's go, Yuri. <laughs> I'm fucking yeah. shocked. Eric. Yuri is bae. You, you, your writing has only improved in the past few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. Yeah, it is. I can really feel the emotion. I'm a little envious, even. I wish I could feel emotions. <laughs> I don't even think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. it. Never did come naturally to me, but I've been able to that's improve as much as so much thanks to you. Plagiarism. <laughs> <laughs> You're really the example I was chasing after. Is is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling more than a feeling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Could it be a good? I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. Can't believe that you're so good at something you've never even shared it with anyone. Kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Your smile, sadly. Eric, during lunchtime, Forceful. I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Oh shit. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. Damn, but... Books are so full of amazing things. People you want to fall in love with. Or... People you just know would really make really good friends. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by my friends every day, you know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type, and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. I do. <laughs> People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Eric. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to other people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings. And all I can do with them is read and write. <laughs> but it wasn't until now that I started sharing with you that I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't done anything. No. That's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Eric. I speak too slowly. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I said yes. I saw all of it. 
<laughs> I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how I deserve to be treated, Yuri. Other people don't see it that way. Screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. I would say I've had at least one success, wouldn't you? Um, no. um, if you put it that way, yeah, we really are friends now, aren't we? Rhea puts her head in her hand. I'm she's smiling as she does it. Tell me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth. I hate her handwriting. Uh. Hey. Oh, okay. Chaotically, used to surface. Under a clean blue sky and expanse okay, of bliss. But beneath we'll grey rolling clouds and endless enigma, the easiest okay. would get lost in, in one where everything can be found. We can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet. Where the sand is wet, the tide comes. We'll gently lick you in the foundations until you give in, or will a sudden wave send you crashing down on the brink of an eye. Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic, it's gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempting by the foamy te tendrils. I turn back and I abandon my peace to erode all the, all the shore, at the shore. Drift forward, earth, and return to earth furthermore, forevermore. I learned never, to never more, never more. Um, yeah, John, she's gonna lock us in our basement. <laughs> I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. I read that correctly, but I did my best to take a metaphor to it. Wait, wait, is that, that John? Don't even want to write about it. Yeah, I think that's John's true commentary. I'm not sure. Oh. Uh, oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was. Amusing that we wrote about similar something similar in such different ways So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I Suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes Anyway, it was her idea Knowing her it's no surprise that she didn't want it She probably just wants to show off It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not bad to write about something simple. It can be refreshing, you know? <coughs> it's good for me to calm down my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I agree. For sharing. Alright, who's Sorry. 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 Oh Sorry. god, it's going to be so fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it is. Do it. I'm so excited. Okay. Hmm? It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. I don't know what you mean, it's fine. <laughs> You're just about what I think. Go hang out with your friends. <laughs> you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri at Skank. Oh, Nani? Oh. I don't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. She's dead on the inside. Yeah, and right. You're happy too, right? In this club, you're happy? With the club that I showed you? Well, with Yuri? Of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thanks, Tom, Eric. Sorry. <laughs> There's something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. Everything's fine. Just a little tired today. <laughs> I'm a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Tell me if you need anything, okay? Okay. <laughs> Don't okay. worry about me. Go on and play with your friends. <laughs> um, <gasps> you insist? Yay. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sorry. Is she gonna <laughs> <show>? <laughs> Tell 
tell Monica I wasn't feeling well. I feel so bad. <laughs> See no, you tomorrow. Right? Before I can say anything else, Siri cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Is she oh gonna murder God. somebody? God. I uh, actually feel terrible. <laughs> to me too, Jesus. She has to she has to be the first one to go. Um, uh, are we doing Natsuki or Monica? Uh, let's do Natsuki, just go in order. We Monica. should Nika. Oh. It looks like a little monster face. Meh. I guess <coughs> we really haven't learned anything after all. Honestly, I don't know why I get my hopes up place. What? I didn't think this one was that bad. What did I do wrong? Poems don't be me don't need to be all don't deep. Don't be sounding. need an all deep sound. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's just it's going to just sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it honestly don't even bother trying to like write poems like this until you're like on yuri's level that's if you pop short stop short all of a sudden d d don't tell me Honey? you're not you're not just trying to impress yuri what are, you, what are you talking about keep your voice down you you know Yuri love this kind of this angsty edge. She's a talented writer. Doesn't mean, I mean, <laughs> looks like I'm in trouble. <laughs> Fucked up. I somehow struck a nerve though. What's that say? But I, that's it was beyond me. I am so done with you. I see. She shoves a poem. I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone stupid else, just don't. You would show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. That's why I was a mind reader. I was destined to become a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Get wrecked. Oh god. We didn't even get to read hers, Jesus. Great Monica. Hi, Aaron. This is getting nice. I know, right? Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the Well, being this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? <laughs> I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure, but you have to do it. <laughs> Whatever you do, children would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. It's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with the style. Just wondering, have you been finding inspiration in your uh, um, I guess so. Can't deny that she's talented. I guess. <laughs> I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. When she's talking about literature, it light turns on inside of her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? Murdering cats. I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, I'll fight you over. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so- But still, defending her like that. You must be pretty into her. Hell Is yeah. Nani? <laughs> Completely misunderstood. Ah, ha, ha, calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Heart snapped in half. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Wait, yeah, really? Because oh. that's all she can get. <laughs> oh, wow. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's really nothing... not really anything wrong with that. Okay, I was just saying. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. Lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. A lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning. All purpose. All that was ever sought. Here I am. A feather. Lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. When all else has failed me, when all else have turned away, legend is all that remains. 
last dim star gleaming in the twilight sky. To one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall. I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather. Dry quill. Expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end in her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. We seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Legend doesn't exist. With a breath, she blows me back afloat. I pick up a gust of wind. So deep. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind because I'm trying <laughs> See, they really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical, because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world just mean? Now, there's one thing I noticed. Seems like everyone <clears throat> in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about. Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. <laughs> I think you know that better than anyone. Being the only human here. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yes. Her, her robot parts anyway. are showing. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're... Probably. ...targeting the lukewarm response to something you put so much right effort into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or even bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature, don't you think? That's my advice for today. End advice program. Thanks for <laughs> Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nani? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when it... Good catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase, just programmed responses. Jeez. <laughs> Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is stagnating. Common stagnating. Fucking hell, is the common foreshadow? <laughs> Stagnagonagon. Stagnagonagon. <laughs> In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Yuri isn't here. Uh, Who? Exactly. <laughs> you're right. Sigh. Sarah always helps lighten the mood a little. It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off when she... Where the heck did she run off to anyway? Like, I thought she just went to pee. Nasuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's all right. <laughs> Seriously? Of all the times not to go, we'll pick the time she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey duffy. <laughs> uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Siori. And second, she kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and I I killed her sound. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what did she say? Anymore. Anyway, we need to figure oh. out the rest of the So let's decide what everyone will be doing. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki would make cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> but we might need a lot of them. Can you handle that all by yourself? 
Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing out and assembling. Sayuri will be helping me design it. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can. Uh, uh, <coughs> <coughs> Nani? Guys, can you help me come up with something for you? Oh god. I'm useless. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not all. We also don't <laughs> like you as a. <laughs> Now Natsuki's pouting too. Yep. Jeez, even I can tell now. This never gives her enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder when she's not around. <sighs> that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, first. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some things <laughs> to help set the atmosphere. No, I can't read her handwriting, uh, please, no. Atmosphere. Um, about that, I... <laughs> I love that I love that. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Mine is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. Hey, oh, but great. anyway, that just leaves you, Tom. <laughs> the one who is truly useless. Now you understand, Eric. <laughs> yeah, past three uh, it's okay. Life. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. I'll help Yuri. It'll probably go a long way if you give one of them a hand. Oh, gosh. You can always help me out. I'd be really appreciative of it. Ah. That's... Like... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh... uh... I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some nerdy work I can give you. It's not like Monica is going to give me a choice. I shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyways. Asuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, If I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Eric may not like to be around. You only make him out to be a nuisance. So, therefore, he may be, may be more suited to assisting the decoration. <clears throat> Hold on, I never said that. <laughs> How hard could it be to make a few decorations? Sounds more like you're just making an excuse for Eric to... What? What are you saying? Hey. It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't hate it when you're talking. Just what do you think? <laughs> guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up Doesn't to Eric matter. to decide how to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Eric, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that Everyone case... looks straight at me. But of course oh, I'm going oh, to go with. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Hang on, like... guys. This is... Oh. This is awful. We gotta pick Yuri. We're already on that bandwagon. But Sayori. I know. I feel so bad for Sayori. But if we say we don't say Yuri, it'll crush her. Oh my god. I'm gonna say go with Sayori, but it's not up to me. Oh my god. What about Monica? Monica could be interesting. You want to go with Monica? Well, she's never been an option before. <laughs> but Sayori, we just like gathered her heart and soul. Oh. What about, but, I, I mean, what about Natsuki? You can't get away from this ball. The fuck, Natsuki's an absolute no. Can we just can we just go with that? <laughs> can, can, can that just be? That's a ground rule. Natsuki is garbage. I love Natsuki. <laughs> like whatever. I, my vote's for Yuri. 
I'm gonna vote for Sayuri. Oh god. What do you think, Tom? <laughs> J- John, I, I... John spamming Monica. <laughs> John, is that you? I think I think John's guru commentary. If not, John about... Razor. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I feel so bad for Sayori. I guess it's up to Eric, because he's the main one. Yeah, but like... Oh god. I think if we say Sayori, Yuri hates us. If we say Yuri, everyone hates us. Dude, Monica, if she doesn't Natsuki understand... Dude, if... if we're like... We're like... So, like... Dude, Sayori. Well, Sayori wasn't even part of the conversation beforehand. Like, the conversation was like, who are we going to help, Natsuki or, or Yuri? And then Monica was like, oh, throw you me in. You just got to pick. Let's, yeah, okay. Right, we're, we're, do, we're doing Yuri. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, our probably was as useful with helping out Yuri. Everybody hates us now. Yep, we're <laughs> fucked. We're going to get murdered. Yeah. <laughs> me? Are you serious? Baka. Why would you? <coughs> Natsuki. I can already tell you're about to say something Yo, mean. Why would can you I... ever put a poor guy in that situation? It's like, hey, pick one of us. God. I'd, I'd be like, can I help you all equally, please? Yeah, right? It's like, I help everybody? No, no. I was just gonna say... Ugh. Boys are stupid. So you'll be helping Yuri then... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of over- overthinking these things, sort of. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking all by myself? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay, calm down. If we, we can tell, Natsuki is feeling a little these. sour. So, is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, it should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well... <laughs> excited... Might not be the right word. Oh, they all have a crush on me. Play-o. Suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Playa, playa. Me? Do you feel the same way, Eric? Me? Uh, I guess you could say that I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. Close enough. They're going to be banging. Pink hair girl. Natsuki. What? What? Nani? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. She just got it right. She's butthurt. That's not what I meant at all. Uh... Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I didn't know, or I didn't really know. Yeah, you do. And also... Because if you're great your Cupcakes are the best cupcakes. <laughs> She's sucking up. <laughs> <laughs> they really go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do to the event will do that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Well, why? <laughs> Um, well, I'm the one acting mature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know. I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Asuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. She already has trouble with words. Trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Siori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Siri would say at the time like this. Because Siri always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves, yet we crush her heart. Oh. <laughs> that was you, I wanted to pick her so bad. <laughs> we can't go back now, we've already picked Sarah, er, Yuri. Oh my god, I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm gonna say this! Nani? Nani! You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the- Oh my uh, wow, Shinderu. I believe you. <laughs> Nani? Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. With that, there's nothing more for today, so get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um, Nani? Nani? 
turn around. Sorry. I realized <coughs> that I don't have any way of connecting, contacting you this weekend. It's okay. Oh, it's great. I can't believe you sl that slipped my mind. Did I give you my phone number? Oh, baby. Oh. I think that would be the best way, yes. She asked you for your number. You know your number. All right, then. Jerry and I exchange phone numbers. There you go. Hell okay. yeah. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Nani? My house. Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I'd be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer to go into your house. So you <laughs> all right. She probably has dead cats hanging in her house. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided this not to press the Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly oh, as creative as you are. Robert. What? Don't underestimate yourself, Eric. Sierra's gonna see you. Oh yeah, she is. Oh my god. I think we'll marry make a very period after in bed. <laughs> in you, bed. you only chose me because you felt bad. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? Are you really in bed if you're not crying? In bed? come up you have chosen me. In bed. You're forgetting the one reason that it's the most common sense. That's just to help me because that's what I want to do. Oh. Giant tits. Big fucking thinks to herself an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You want me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? Nani? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Bang, 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 bang. Set a bang, 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 set a bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I... Yuri thinks really hard again. Look straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took a tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door, and Yuri follows. Do we not walk her home? I can't believe this. Yuri's going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance that I make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. It's already Sunday. Well, we can just tell her to stop. I mean, uh, do you guys need to stop? Do we need to stop, dudes? Uh, we can go for a little longer. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll get through this little intro thing and then pause. Uh, I've been getting increasingly good. anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself this is no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't much help. Yuri is clearly an in introvert and not so intimate person in general. No doubt that she'll open up a little bit when she's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been. Texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I already learned more about her. Putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sirius since she left the club earlier the other day. Not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind, between what Sirius said and what Monica said. Is it really okay for me to put Sirius' feelings aside when she might need me? No, go fucking gout, Sirius. Alright, pause here before we go visit Sirius. Probably, yeah. Okay. All right, save. Whoa, God, this is so bad. <laughs> Guys, we've been playing for four and a half hours and have yet to get to the horror. When is it coming? Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. Oh, hold on. Wait, Eric. What's up? I'm gonna walk Tegan out the door. Um, do you want to play games after? Yeah, I'll do PUBG or something after. Fuck oh, yeah. Cool. Okay, give me five minutes. All right, I'll see you later, Tegan. Yeah, says bye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you. <laughs> oh, got me. All right. You still in chat, John? Or did you leave? John. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you got to play PUBG, John? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what you're talking about. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, you can find me on YouTube, youtube.com backslash St. Cuthbert. Um, please feel free to subscribe. 
comment on the videos, whatever. Um, if you enjoyed me on Twitch, I will be streaming every Thursday night at nine o'clock. Please feel free to follow. Um, hopefully I get donation or not donations. Subscriptions going up pretty soon. I need to partner with Twitch beforehand. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.